Hello and welcome to my solar bike presentation video. So this is it. Um, it's a solar hand bike based on a Schmicking racing hand bike frame. So how does it work, a normal hand bike? If you compare it to a normal bike, uh, the normal bike back wheel, so to say, is my front wheel. We have got the hub motor inside here, which, which is a Grin All Axle um, version 3 with a self-made uh, torque arm here because I've got horizontal um, outlets. The, the gears, 9 are here on this side, 3 over there where the cranks are, where I give my power input. So this is the seat where I'm sitting. And this is my workplace. And um, yeah, here are also the brakes. And here can change the gears. Or down here, just manually, directly, without any cables connected. Then on top here, I have the cycle analyst, which is the e-bike control station, where I've got all the data from the engine, where I control the motor power, etc. I'm running on the latest uh, beta version. I'm not using the solar version because I'm also using a, a backwards pedal regen braking. That means when I pedal backwards, it activates the regen braking, which is a huge help on a hand bike because this uh, way you don't have to take your hands that often off to do something. I have lots of mirrors mounted on my bike and also here in the middle to look to the sides. The seat is very, very comfortable. I was testing it once for 14 hours in a row when I did the 320 kilometers round uh, around Mallorca, which was perfect. So no problems there. I've got bottle uh, holders right next to my seat some small luggage stored up here so that I can reach my food during driving and in the back I have a box of with all my luggage clothes sleeping bag etc down there in the center the gray box this is the battery two kilowatt hours capacity um, out of recycled laptop and e-bike batteries and in between I've got spare tires and in the back there's also in the red little bag, there's a plastic cover that I can throw over the whole bike so that I've got a tent inside. And inside this tent with these two walking sticks that I'm then putting in here, one in the back and one in the front, I can put a hammock below the solar roof and sleep inside there it's not my plan to stay outside every night but if that's the only occasion i have i'm gonna use it yeah aside that there are all the other default equipment uh, things you expect for example lights on the back there are additional mounts for lights reflective um, surface on the back and uh, in addition to a normal racing handbikes, because handbikes normally just have brakes in front, one is there and one is below. One is the, let's say, the normal brake, and the other one is uh, the additional one, which serves as backup on the normal bike, and also, which is the parking brake. And because on the Sun Trip regulation it says you have to have uh, at least two wheels with independent braking systems. I built my own um, mount to have also brakes uh, on the back, on both sides. And um, yeah, the solar roof is mounted on top, very minimum, minimal design. It's, it can be tilted into the sun, so to both sides it will be locked and steered by the, by the rope system here which has clamps that are free now, but normally the rope is inside there and then it blocks in the position that I want to have it. So I've got 450 watt peak on top. It's uh, two panels from uh, Sunman. The front one is uh, 310 watt and the back one is uh, 150. 
but uh, I just have two 300 watt um, charge um, controllers so that adds up to a theoretical maximum of 450 watt peak all of the technical solar stuff is behind the seat and hidden uh, under this plastic cover uh, inside here there's also um, a Raspberry Pi which has Venus OS running on it so you can see all the statistics of my solar bike online so this is my view when I'm sitting in the bike now the roof is tilted into the Sun and here I have two smartphone holders under the solar roof uh, one is empty because I'm filming with this one at the moment so I'm normally using uh, one for navigation and the other one is for solar technical stuff etc so here this uh, is connected via Bluetooth directly to my Victron smart shunt which collects all the data from the incoming solar power so now we see the Sun is here hiding behind the clouds in the morning it's uh, uh, 8 43 in Barcelona and that means already when the solar panel is tilted around about 70 watts let's see the comparison when it's horizontal then it drops to 50 watts more or less so there you see the effect of a tilting solar panel why it makes sense when you have got direct sun rays it makes a much bigger difference in comparison to when it's a bit cloudy like this when it's cloudy and you have like diffuse light then a horizontal position of the roof is the best but as the sun is just very shortly behind the clouds you see the power like this now it goes up now the sun comes through and now we can check it again now you see like 140 watts 30 and i'm going to horizontal now you see now it drops to 60 so there you see 50 watts there you see the effect now but at the same time the sun again disappeared behind the clouds so you see this is why tilting solar panels really makes sense you can by the way you can also see this uh, follow me live um, if you look into the link tree which is linked everywhere in my social media etc you can also see uh, the full Victron VRM uh, that's the system of Victron where the uh, Raspberry Pi is uploading all the data so when I've got internet connection you see all this data live so you see here now the solar power input of 80 watts you see the consumption of the of the bike at the moment it's uh, very low like 17 watts or so because uh, cycle analysis is on and uh, Raspberry also takes some energy and you also see always my battery stage of charge and uh, uh, what's happening there so whenever I have, I have internet you can look in here and you see all the data live from my bike there's also a temperature sensor where you see the environment temperature the little map on where I am so here you see this is now the coast of Spain and for those who are really techy there's an advanced section here in the Victron VRM where you can see much more details um, much more technical details and uh, you can also go back in the days and and see the history of everything like how did the battery behave are all are all blocks balanced well maximum and minimum cell voltages are here for example battery temperature battery state of charge and a lot more the solar irradiance this is based on the GPS position so that means how much Sun can I expect so I'm also I will work a bit with this together with windy uh, windy is a weather app that I'm uh, using always for my cycling uh, biking bikepacking tours so I'm going to windy and very important um, I'm comparing the prediction models because this way you can get the best results in my opinion so you look okay now where we actually are um, and I've got a lot of different prediction models here and I'm just looking like how is the weather now 
And then I'm looking which one of those models is predicting more or less correctly because sometimes there's a lot of difference. You see some say here, oh, it might rain or the other ones say it's really, really sunny. The truth is something in between. So, uh, for example, Meteor Blue, from my experience, very often is very correct. So this is how it works and this will then give me a big help on how much energy I may spend uh, with the cycle analyst on, uh, on the engine. If there are any more questions, feel free to write a comment and uh, that's it. I'm pretty sure a solar bike is never complete. So the statues you see now and here is just for this moment here. And uh, next time it will look different for sure. So, and also very important, as it says here on the port, think safety. That's it. Stay safe and goodbye.